ahead and uh, the U.S. military situation right now in the Middle East. But uh, let me just first get your take on what we heard from President Trump on that statement. Thank you. It's an honor to join you. I think the president got the tone about right. Uh, the United States government has been uh, uh, delivering a message via a variety of channels in recent days that the death of an American uh, would be a red line. This appears to be a very deliberate effort on the part of the uh, Iranian regime to do something that they can uh, uh, bang their chests about in front of their domestic population, but to uh, deliberately avoid the death of any Americans. I'm so heartened that no Americans or Iraqis were killed in this attack. My thoughts and prayers go out to service members for deployed. Um, but this is an opportunity now to de-escalate the, uh, the kinetic crisis and to redouble the maximum and pressure campaign, whose goal of which is to bring Iran back to the negotiating table to, uh, to agree to an Iran nuclear agreement that isn't riddled with all the problems that the JCPOA had. All right, uh, Bradley Bowman in Washington, Professor Meir Lidvak State, right here. We're out for a quick break. This conversation continues when we're back.